What a witty cue hauling at you today. Let's try to make something with some energy. I want to make something kind of weird. So we're going to see what we can do. Let's get into it. Uh oh, we could do chords in here. Okay. You know, I haven't used this feature in a while, but why not? This one of the main reason I got it because I had the chords button right there. And you can cheat, basically. And let me know what y'all think about that. Is using, I, I say it's just using the tool, but is it cheating if you use chord modes in here? Whether it be in a Kai equipment, whether it be a SP404. Who makes that? Is that Roland? I think that might be Roland. Machine Native Instruments. How y'all feel about the machines giving us chords and all that? Of course, there's all kind of tools to do all kind of crazy stuff, but do you consider any methods in production cheating? That's my question. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Thank you. I like that. With that tone kind of early, it makes me kind of want to <laughs> make like a Sears beat, but <laughs> I just said I want to make something with some energy. I want it to be too, you know, sad and downtrodden. You feel me? I don't like looking for sounds all day. I like picking something and then bending it to make it fit whatever I'm trying to do. And I got an Akai advanced keyboard down here that I'm playing on. So if you, you hear all that crap, that's what I'm doing. If you don't see me hitting this, I'm using the keyboard. A lot of times I go between using this and clicking with the mouse. Most of the time I do that. Most of the editing on the keyboard in here, but navigation, the mouse is just fast for me. Even though if you get pretty comfortable with the uh, hardware, you never have to touch the computer if you don't want to. But I do feel like some people force it. Nah, if you touch any keyboards, I mean any keys in the keyboard, then you know what I'm saying? If it ain't uh, ebony and ivory in this actual machine, then you ain't really you know what I'm saying? Producing. I ain't in all that, bro. I'ma click it again. I'ma hit the keyboard. I'ma hit whatever I got in front of me. Anyway. So waves is that's one thing I really like to use a lot. Our bass, baby. Put an extra stank on it. Oh yeah, we're gonna do one of them. We're gonna take it back. Shout out to my guy, uh my guy Lex Luger. He one of the first people that really made this popular is playing whether it be the instrument or the drums themselves, playing them in one octave and then your next eight going up an octave. He, or it might be four actually. But he one of the ones that made it popular. But we about to implement that right now. Let's do it. Same notes. Right here, I could just use the keyboard, but I'd rather fill it out myself. Actually, you know, for the sake of the momentum and everything, and the velocity that I got going, I just do it here. But it's literally just going up. I gotta add some lows in there. No, I might do it with the instruments too. Use a little compressor on here real quick. Cause I need that clap. I need it to, you know what I'm saying? I need to feel that jump. I need some more than that.
There we go. Ugh. I'll clean that up. <laughs> Keep it rocky, but real. Okay, okay. Now we got a little got a little energy coming through. If you're not a fan of hi hats, I'm sorry, cause they coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I need that to be a little bit lower though. Just a little too. Okay. Take off a little bit of the end. Actually, I just fade that out a little bit. And that's enough to ride with for right now. We'll ride with it. But anyway, if you don't mind, answer the question I asked earlier before down in the comment section. I greatly appreciate if you took the time to do so. Till next time, peace. And we'll let it rock out one more little time. Clean up, and that's it.